Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Welcome to part two of Who is Ariman of the Thousand Suns. Today we're going to talk about Master of the Rubric. Reality in the eye of terror is a twisted and mutilated thing. Within its ragged bounds, the laws of the physical are slaved to the whims of the immaterial. Dreams and thoughts reshape matter. Deems, demons walk unbound, and time flows like the currents of a storm-churned sea. Within this realm of nightmares and possibility, the thousand suns made their home. Unfettered by the restrictions of mortal law or base reality, their sorcerous powers combined climbed to higher and higher heights. But as their power grew, they began to change. Mutation seethed through the thousand suns, fusing their flesh and armor, melting the features of once noble warriors into twisted horrors. Ahriman watched as his battle brothers devolved and knew that he could not allow his legion to fall any further. In secret, he drew together a cabal of the most powerful of his brothers. Some came reluctantly, but saw that there was no choice. Some came wholeheartedly, believing in Ahriman without question. Others were drawn to him by desperation, knowing that time was running out. But all shared Ahriman's hope that together they could save the Thousand Suns. Drawing upon the Book of Magnus, Ahriman created the Rubric, a spell which would undo the changes wrought upon the flesh of the Thousand Suns and shield them from such mutations in the future. At last, their great work prepared, the Cabal unleashed the rubric. Demons howled and laughed over the towers of the planet of the sorcerers. Sheets of multicolored lightning descended from the skies. Darkness became light. Light, darkness. The rubric touched each of the thousand suns, and in that moment, every one of them was remade. The mutation racking the legion vanished burned away in the rubric's fire. But what remained was not what the Cabal had intended nor expected. Those whose psychic powers had been weak or non-existent had become spirits sealed in the sigil-covered armor. Inside their shells of the echoes of their souls howled and rattled in voices of dust. These were the rubricae. Those who had possessed greater power still lived, but found their powers multiplied and increased vastly. Looking on the results of his attempt to save his legion, Ahriman saw that he had both succeeded in every way and failed utterly. Ba -bum -bum. Now for a quote. Where was it? Here it is. Knowledge is power, but power is nothing without purpose. You may hold in your hand the power to remake all things. But if you do not know what you would change, then you hold nothing at all. Ahriman of the Thousand Suns. Sounds very profound, does it? 
unless you actually know what knowledge is power means, in which case he makes no sense at all. That's kind of the problem of trying to write stories for savant super genius characters, you know what I mean? How do you do that if you yourself are not one? It's a little difficult. So I, I, I just want to talk about that one since this was a pretty short video. I found it funny because what they're really saying is, what is it? Let me try to remember. Ah, sacintia potentia est. Knowledge is power. But in reality, what they really wrote was ipsa sacintia potistia est. Knowledge itself is power, which is also funny because when you go to the end of it, what he's really saying is he already has all the power to change the universe, but you need purpose in order to know what to change. Which, if you were to translate that into Latin, what you're actually saying is ipsa sapientia potentia est. Wisdom itself is power. Something to think about. Until next time, when we talk about, oh, what happened? Ah, next time we're going to be talking about the exile of the Thousand Suns. Bye.